Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As I promised you, today I will be retouching one of your photos. I picked the picture taken by Nils Decker. And if you want to see how I came from this to this, grab yourself a cup of coffee or tea and get comfortable because this is going to be a long one. First, let's have a look at the picture and what we want to do with it. So definitely I will be doing some basic cleaning on the face. Uh, model has a really nice complexion, so uh, there won't be many cleaning to do. I'll definitely want to take care of the neck, of the hair, of the miscoloration on the hand. Uh, also, we'll take care of the nails. Uh, we'll fill some eyelashes here that are missing and I will look uh, on the lips as well and obviously some dodging and burning will need to be done in this area. I'll be filling a little bit of the hair over here. I want to straighten uh, the parting over here so it looks uh, much nicer and generally it will just make the picture look much better. So let's start with duplicating our background layer and creating a new layer. I'll call this one here and skin so I know this is for cleaning. Let me start by just cleaning the hair a little bit. I'm using a spot healing brush for this. Then I will go on to cleaning the face uh, with clone stamp tool so I don't want to make this video like too over long so I'll just speed up through those uh, long parts and I will talk to you shortly Okay, so cleaning part is done. I'll show you uh, before and after. There wasn't much to do actually. Just a little bit of hair and tiny bit of um, things on her face. Uh, this model has an amazing skin, so that's fantastic. Uh, again, this picture was taken by Nils Decker. And I will list the full credits on the end of the video and also you'll find it in the description if you want to uh, check out the photographer, model or the makeup artist. Uh, so cleaning is done, uh, next step in my workflow will be dodging and burning so I'm just gonna run my action here. If you want to know what, which actions I'm using uh, I will link the video of it on the in the upper right corner here and also in the description so you can go have a look i'm using exactly those actions that i'm talking about in the video so i'm not going to talk about that them again uh, but basically i'll be now not doing uh, micro dodging and burning meaning i will be trying to uh, even out the transitions between light and the shadows um so it's much nicer so for example over here 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 also here on the chin uh, on this part around the nose obviously um, what else we have here of course uh, the neck nails hand a little bit of hair on the back as well 
uh, here on the chest and what else we will see uh, along the way on this cheek this part as well so uh, I'm using black and white helping glue to help me see a much better where I need to work on those trans transitions if I turn off the helping layer it's not as visible as it is with the helping layer so that's why I'm using uh, the one just to mention that I'm using Wacom uh, researching tablet with the pen so I'm using my stills for the drink and burning and I'm also currently retouching in the Photoshop CC 2018 version. Okay, so technicalities are out of the way. Let me get into the drink and burning and I'll talk to you shortly. Okay, I think the dodge and burn step, the micro dodge and burn step is over. Let me show you before and after. So this is after and this is before and after. And once again, before and after. I'll zoom in so you can see a little bit better what dodge and burn can actually do. So this is our before and after. And I'll show you in the color as well before and after I'll be moving on on to general dodging and burning now uh, which is basically the same just I will do that without the helping layer and I will use different sets of curves to kind of keep it separately and I'll also use much higher flow as before on the micro dodging and burning I was using anything between 1 to 5 uh, here I'll be using it in between 10 to 15 and I'll be also using a bigger uh, brush so just lightening the light parts and darkening and the dark parts to bring a little bit more dimension into the picture Okay, that's it on the uh, general dodging and burning. Let me quickly show you before and after. See, we just brought a little bit more dimension into her model's face and into her skin. Just make the shadows a little bit more darker and the light and the highlights uh, a little bit lighter. I will be doing more of the dodging and burning later in my workflow. For now, I think this is quite good. Let me show you complete before and after for now. So before and after already looks very good. Uh, next step will be eyes. Uh, I again have an action here. I'll be using four different layers uh, for eyes um, with some additional layers as well uh, because I need to fill the lashes a little bit. Uh, as well so let's just do 
that first and then we can carry on with the normal eye editing. I want to fill in the gaps over here in this uh, eye. So what I will do, I'll just go in the background copy and I will just copy paste a couple of lashes from here and just place them into my eye folder. I will just fill the gaps a little bit. masking out so it looks natural. Okay, lashes are done. Let's have a look. It's quite a lot uh, before and after. It's quite a lot of work, actually. I just named these lashes. And let me just fix this one a little further. Just kind of don't like this. Great. Okay, moving on, on to the actual eye right now. So I'm using four layers, color dot, sharpen, white, and hue and saturation. Um, all the steps are in my other video that I also did around about the eyes. But let me just walk through it real quick. I'll just sample color um, from the actual eye and I will lightly paint it in on the color dodge layer on the sharpen layer i will just use a normal sharpening tool and i will sharpen the pupil a little bit to bring a little bit of um, texture into the eye to make it a little bit more interesting you can overdo it because it will look really weird so i'll go a little bit lightly on it i also like to go over lashes uh, in this step, uh, never whiten the, uh, never sharpen the whites, because that will look not really nice. Uh, on the third layer, I'll be just whitening the eye whites. Need to be using white and black brushes on a low flow. Again, you don't want to go too much. Let's bring the flow really high and go over the catch lights. Made them pop and also let's go around the eye a little bit with this dark uh, just darken the outline of the pupil again not too much some people has really dark outlines some doesn't so if the model doesn't have dark outlines don't go too crazy because it will look very very fake um, but a little bit of outline always is nice and I darkened the inner outline as well it's kind of like a secret trick to make the uh, eyes look more 
um, I don't know how to even say it. I just, you just make them nicer, more pleasing to the eye. And uh, you want saturation layer, and I will desaturate the eye white a little bit. I'm sure we went a little bit crazy here. Let's look before and after. Oh, it's not that bad actually. Okay, and on this gray layer, I will be filling up the brows a little bit as well. This is not um, something where you have to do on this layer. You can go ahead and uh, Feel free to do it on a separate layer to kind of have more control over this. Okay, I know the brows doesn't look very real, so I'll just bring the blend them a little bit more by bringing the opacity down a little bit. Usually 70-80% works quite nicely before and after. That will do. So again on the eyes, before and after. We'll be working on the makeup as well a little bit. Let me bring another Dodge and Burn layer here. And let me just work on the eyebrows and on the makeup. Just a little bit, just to blend it a little bit nicer, a little bit more to kind of make it look nice and cohesive. Fine, that will do. before and after starts looking quite nicely we still do have um, quite a lot of work um, we'll need to work on the nails I'll just make a new group here and link all these nails and it will be just a simple uh, grey layer and let's just take care of them After I'm happy with the light transitions, let's take care of the color. Just make it nice and uniform. I'm just using a simple empty layer with the blend mode turned into color. I also need to place this underneath the layer. 
with the light transitions to kind of not mess up with anything. I think it's looking quite nice. We'll fix it a little further with the liquify afterwards. Uh, before I move on to liquify, uh, I'll want to take care of some uh, discoloration here on the hand and also fill in a little bit of the hair over here. So I'll just start with the color problems. A uh, simple easy way is to just create a new layer, turn it into color blending mode, uh, swatch the color that we want to have. So for this uh, case I'll just go for some nice and the body color. And I will just paint it in to that hand on those places that are a little bit uh, mismatching. We'll also need to uh, look for some other places that might be uh, a little different in color. sampling from different areas the closer to the one that you want to fix the better and now we will just bring down the opacity because it's quite a difference I'll show you from closer after and before. So you see all this now. Um, sorry, all this now is matching. A little too much, so I'll just bring down the opacity on the layer. We'll be doing more matching of the hand here, so I'll just bring a selective color, not mask, sorry, selective color, and on the mask, let's just invert it and paint white only. Um, the places that you want to. change in the future, in the very near future. <laughs> I'll just play around. We'll, th the mask doesn't need to be perfect, we'll just take care of it later. We'll just play around with the slider so there's a very much of a yellow, so let's bring that down. That might actually sort all of our problems. Just a little bit of the yellow tones. from the red as well I think now the hands matching much nicer let's have a look at before and after it was quite quick and simple uh, and now let's just work on the mask a little better it's a good idea to mask it first before you do any changes because uh, if you do the changes to hold the whole picture it's hard to see if you're matching it to the rest of the body or not so always it's a good idea to just make the mask first okay now 
I'll bring opacity of this layer down a little bit. Around 80%. Yeah, that's fine. Looks quite good. Let's have a look at the before and after. I like to keep an eye on the before and after to make sure I didn't go too far. So before, actually before <laughs> and after. Before and after. I would say let's just fill in the hair real quick and we can move on to liquify. Fantastic, ready to go to liquify. Need to create some visible layer before we do an liquify and turn the layer into a smart object. So we can go back and change any um, changes we do to the liquify with a smart filter. Okay, so what do I want to liquify is the nails as they kind of finish them off uh, a little bit of the nose. Uh, the lips, I also want to prolong the neck just slightly and take care of the hair and that will be it for the liquefying so I'm just gonna start with the hair Great, so that's liquify done and we can jump on to color grading and then the final adjustments with the dodging and burning that I always do on the end. So for color grading, let's just create a new group and call the color grade. And the first one will be curves. Okay, that should be it for the color grading. Let's have a look at before and after. How far we've come. Before and after. Before and after. I'm quite liking it. Still a bit more work to do. So let's just jump right into it. Alright guys, I think I am done here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you got something out of it. 
maybe if you have any questions just drop me a comment and please don't forget to like uh, this video and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i will see you here next time bye